what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay let's get right into this hope everybody's having a great day kind of early for me let's get right into this reds come here comes red red say hi because she was giving us such hell yesterday what are you doing baby mommy mommy working mommy working okay so let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides let's see what's going on with the collective at this time spirit ancestors and guides what is going on in the collective's connection at this time thank you divinely guided this love is divinely guided trust the process in this relationship you are exactly where you need to be so somebody can be going back <clears throat> back and forth almost like wanting something to come together wondering why you're going through these things or wondering why th certain things are happening within this connection but the thing is spirit wants you to know this connection is completely divinely guided and they really want to reiterate the fact that you're exactly where you're supposed to be in this connection at this time so there's no need to worry or or stress about where this connection is going or the issues that are going on within this connection just trust the process and trust the universe wow happily ever after you're stepping into your happily ever after a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment and i feel like this is where a lot of y'all feminines have embraced that divine feminine energy right and it's like where we want something so bad we're in it's not coming it's not coming we're wondering why and then we finally just let it go and just give it up to the universe if it's meant for me if it's meant for me if it's not it's not and then that's when everything that you've been been stressing and wanting just starts flowing to you right and I feel like that's what's happening here. Divine Femme, she's taking on that goddess energy. Look at this beautiful woman with these wings on her, right? She's embracing that energy um, and just trusting the process within this connection. Like, okay, what flows to me flows and what doesn't wasn't meant for me. And I feel like this is pushing, like instead of trying to force this connection or trying to, you know, push it along faster than it, what it was supposed to, somebody here really did the inner work they really did what it took through those dark times they turned those dark times into you know a, a, even though it seemed hard they took a negative and turned it into a positive okay and I feel like because somebody did that somebody obeyed somebody's been doing the work it's like it's pushing you and this person into alignment into this happily ever after into what you have been waiting and dreaming for for so motherfucking long okay it's two people being divinely guided in this process and actually doing the work along the way even if they don't realize that they were doing the work because you were doing the work they were doing the work and it's pushing you guys into this beautiful energy this happily ever after soulmate your soulmate came into your life to challenge you and help you grow it will be an undeniable connection i cannot make that up isn't that what we were just saying this is definitely your soulmate and this person came into your life just like you came into their life to challenge you and for you to challenge them for you to grow and for them to grow and yes this is an undeniable connection and i feel like the two of you guys have grown from this relationship Somebody I feel like was did deal with the karmic situation in between here. With this transitional love, okay, it's almost like somebody attracted a relationship that served a very important transitional role in their life. And it was literally 
a like um a rebound you know like a pastime but whatever this karmic energy is it did serve a huge purpose in the two of you you's journey okay because it helped them transition and grow okay definitely it was a it, it that relationship literally only served a transitional role in the two of years journey right and what it what it did this is beautiful all these positive cards right healing love this love will force you to heal all those parts of yourself that you have been neglecting you deserve healthy love this is so beautiful y'all you know this this card has hella negative negatives right wow so during this time okay of the two of you guys these soulmate connection you guys coming together i feel like there was a transitional period for the two of you there was a separation that served as a transitional period for the two of you you guys could have dealt with other people in between okay but i feel like all along the two of you were slowly but surely being divinely guided back to one another ultimately for the two of you guys to have this union that you guys have been destined to have with one another um but in between before you guys could come into alignment there was a lot of healing that needed to be done and the fact that you guys challenged each other to grow right and then it's almost like that challenge was also to open up parts of yourself that you've kept hidden, parts of yourself that you didn't want to face, parts of yourself that you didn't want to heal or talk about, right? And that's what this love did. I feel like there was also parts where you guys neglect, do, there could have been like low self-esteem issues or you taking care of everybody else but neglecting to take care of yourself, you making sure everybody else is straight and the same with them. Um, this love really initiated the healing of the souls for the two of you guys, okay? This is just beautiful to me. And at the bottom of the deck, it, it had connection. I mean, fun connection, right? Let's see, spirit. Somebody could have gotten involved in an abusive relationship in between there, okay? And, and it was very difficult to get out of this abusive relationship, fast lane something feels different about this love and you are not afraid to charge ahead hopefully this love will last so it's almost like you, from the moment you met this person it's like you knew that there was some quite different about this person about this love it, it's not like anybody else's and it was like so you you pushed forward you weren't afraid to go all in head over heels okay and i feel like this person is ready to move things along quite fast if there is a separation when it comes together this is going to move very very fast and you've known from jump this was your person and what's going to happen is that when this comes together they're going to want to marry you they've learned their lessons you've healed they've done a lot of healing here you guys know you guys are soulmates and they don't want to make this mistake again you know they don't want to fuck this up again and it's so they're, they are they're going to want to move this along quite fast and i feel like it's going to move into a proposal happily ever after prized possession long haul your your love interest may be in it for the long haul and willing to go through it all with you enjoy this journey so it's beautiful it's like okay you guys i feel like you guys have went through the long haul it's been very difficult it's been ups and downs separations coming together people coming in between this relationship but in all of it it's like the two of you guys were willing to come back together and put in the effort and go through this shit right it was the journey that ha that leads to the beautiful what's that song it's by jesse reyes um if i get there and my tanks on e then i'll be okay destinations like it's about the journey anyway right it's not about the destination it's about the journey along the way if i get there and my tanks on e i'm gonna be okay destinations like it's about the journey anyway nobody's gonna say i didn't give it all that's and that's a badass song y'all um i don't know it's jesse reyes um 
Cause nobody's gonna say I didn't give it all. No, no, no. Tiptoeing off the cliff, I think it's worth a fall. Yeah, yeah, y'all was y'all were tiptoeing just on, on that cliff, and it's like, but somebody, it, it's worth the fall. Destinations like it's about the journey anyway. If you guys were both in it for the long haul, no matter what. You guys both knew the destination in the end was to come up, come together. And no matter what you guys went through, you guys, come, like, y'all are going to come back together, man. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And you guys have done it. This is a beautiful reading. This is, like, for, for those twin flames that are at that point. You know, even if you're still going through separations, it's coming to that point, right? Yeah, confirmation with the train outside. It's coming. It is coming, spirit. That's what I am talking about. Right on in, train. Your train is finally coming in. Woo, spirit come through. What would this person got to say? What's going on here? I failed to give you what you need, so they definitely know that they neglected you at times, okay? It's almost like this person knows that you deserve to have that ring and have their last name and have that happily ever after and not have had to go through all the things that you had to go through to get here. And they hate that at times they neglected you. I'm sorry, y'all. The train is like, I'm in Texas, rural Texas, okay? I'm out here. <laughs> I failed to give you what you need. What else do we have? Chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. Okay? And so that's just reiterating it. The chemistry between the two of you guys is off the charts. When you guys come to back together, it's like no time has passed. You, It's almost like that, that meme where it's like it's so important to be friends first. Because, you know, love and lust eventually fades. But when you can love your that person as a friend, that's how you guys can make it through any storm, right? You guys can go through any way when you can just love that person as a friend. Because love, lust, attraction, all that shit have fade, fade through time, right? But your ability to continue to love them as a friend is what will make it through anything. And this chemistry, this passion that the two of you guys have for one another... It's unmatched. They've never felt like that. Wow, soul contract. The lessons that I've learned from this will never be forgotten. You guys do have this soul contract. There is a lot of lessons that were um, sent along the way. And I don't think it was just lessons for them. They were lessons for you too. Even though, you know, everybody's traumas come in different forms. Everybody's learnings and teachings come in different forms right so you might have had some different things that you had to work out that that was different from them it led you down different paths but in in the long run it's gonna bring you back together okay like marriage i see marriage unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss this ain't over this person wants you to know this shit ain't over there's still a lot of unfinished business here. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to discuss. And when they come in discussing, they're going to want to talk about that, how they neglected you and how they're sorry and how they want to be with you for the rest of their life. And they want to move this along fast. They don't want to play no motherfucking games no more. Look, understanding, I see it from your side of the story. I understand why you were hurt. I understand what I did. I see where I fucked up. Wow, mistakes wanted to pop out. I wish I could right my, my wrong. I see the mistakes. I see the damage that I've caused from this situation. Can we talk? I really want to just have a conversation with you and own up to my mistakes. If I have to, I will chase you. I will become the chaser now. I will chase you because I know I was dishonest, not only to you, but to myself. And by lying to myself and to you, I ripped us apart. But I want to own up to my responsibilities. I feel guilty as fuck. And I want this new chapter with you. Can we mend this relationship? I don't want to miss this opportunity again because you are irreplaceable. I don't want my space anymore. I am broken without you. And I want to mend this soul contract. I can't make it up, y'all.
this is this is where they're coming from. They mean this shit. They ain't playing no games when it comes to you or this situation no more. So when they get after these lessons are learned, because this is being divinely guided, and trust the process in the, this relationship, okay? Just trust the process. You are exactly where you guys need to be right now. It's coming together, and when it does, you and this soulmate are going to move. These are my real nails, too, y'all. My real nails, and I still can't pick stuff up. You and your soulmate are going to be coming together, okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.